Reading is an essential habit and a culture that must be developed. Nigerians are generally believed to have a poor reading culture. The role of government in promoting reading and equipping reading spaces and libraries in Nigeria cannot be underestimated. But first, we must look at the development of reading habits from the home and the role parents play in encouraging their children. My parents, my mom used to be a teacher, so reading was obviously part of a curriculum. And then my father used to be a professor and is an author. So I started reading very, very early. And I started reading books that were higher than my age grade. Um, I was reading African writer series from age seven, age eight, and reading encyclopedias by that time. So obviously my parents had a huge part and encouraged, encouraged that in me. In the Nigerian book market, there's a high influx of foreign authors writing for children, but very few Nigerian authors telling relatable, homegrown Nigerian stories. If you start out reading stories, even to your baby, even before they're one, and then as they get older, buy appropriate uh, materials that are colorful, um, with easy-to-read words, and read with them. I think that helps. Adi Dotsuenyade, a co-founder of Robin Heights, a leading bookstore in Nigeria, has tips for Nigerian authors and how they can improve on their work and get into the hearts of readers. The story has to be good, right? You know, if you're writing, you know, whatever you're writing, if you're writing fiction, if you're writing non-fiction, it has to be like, you know, really, really compelling, you know, one. Uh, the next thing would be like in terms of like the packaging, right? You know, um, you know, people have gone past the era where you just take your books with just about any printer to print for you. You know, I think, you know, publishers, um, self-published authors as well, they need to invest in, like, you know, ensuring that in the quality of the of the book, you know, the final output is one that will, you know, stack up with any or any book, you know, published, you know, elsewhere in the world. So that's really important. Then I think, you know, what would be, like, the most important tip for me uh, to them would be um, just, you know, the need to invest in marketing. The book business, like any other business, is challenging. If you ask anyone who's running the business in Nigeria, they will tell you capital, of course, right? Uh, you know, it's, um, I mean, book selling is also, as, as with any other business, is also quite capital intensive, like, you know, um, getting, getting to pay your rent, uh, getting to actually buy the books and stock up, like, your shelves when you have them. Um, uh, you know, hiring good people requires, like, you know, decent amount of capital. So um, I would say it's, it's, it's you know, um, getting the, the startup funds to, you know, to set up something. And then if you're looking to do, do it at scale like we're hoping to do, then it also requires you, like, you know, raising funding, uh, which isn't readily available in commercial banks, right? I don't think a bank would say they want to give you a loan to set up a bookstore. They probably will be skeptical about the number of people who read. Um, so for us, I, I think it's, it's just, um, you know, um, I would say capital is, is, you know, is at the top of the, of the totem pole. It is commendable that certain individuals and organizations are making concerted efforts to revive the reading culture in the country. The government should also redesign the school curriculum to incorporate more reading activities in primary and secondary schools.